In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to start an online store with absolutely no money using artificial intelligence. If you've been thinking about launching your own e-commerce business, but have been worried about startup costs or not knowing where to begin, this video will break down everything step by step. We'll be using storebuild.ai to help us build a professional online store without spending a dime in the process. I'll walk you through what you need to know and how to get started immediately. Before we jump in, let me quickly explain what storebuild.ai is and why I'm using it. It's an artificial intelligence powered platform designed to make building an online store super simple. From choosing products to designing your site, it handles everything for you in just a few clicks. No technical skill work. Hired. To get started, you'll need to sign up and the process is quick and easy. Once you've signed up, you can dive right into creating your very own storefront. If you guys want to try this entire process out and follow along with this video, make sure you use the link down in the description. This link gives you direct access to the exact tools I'll be using so you can get everything set up alongside me with minimal effort and no hassle. So without further ado, let's get started with the process. Once you click that link down in the description, you should be brought to a page that looks like this. As you can see, this is storebuild.ai's launch page. The major benefit here is that you can build your very own Shopify store in less than 10 minutes, all with preloaded products directly put into your storefront. This means that you don't have to go out there and source your own products, look for products out there that you think might be winners. They do this by using an amazing app called Zendrop, which will show you how to get set up in the later part of this video. But if we scroll down on this page and look at a few of the other features that they're prompting, as you can see, they have a ton of things that you can choose from. All we really want to focus on right now, though, is actually building our very own storefront. So we're going to do that by clicking on the green build my store. Once we click on the green build my free store, we'll be taken to their account setup page. The first thing you want to do is enter in your first name, followed by your email address, and then enter in your password. Once you have all this symbol filled out, you'll then hit the create free account button. Once you hit that button, it will officially load you inside of this platform and you can get started with building your very own artificial intelligence Shopify store. As you can see, this next page shows us a complete outline of the eight step process that we'll be going through to get started with our storefront. The first of these steps is picking a niche. When it comes to picking a niche, it's very important to figure out exactly what type of target audience or consumers that you're looking to target with your specific product. As you can see here, we have a couple of different niches that we can choose from. We have the clothing niche, pet care and supplies niche, tech and gadgets niche, home and outdoors niche, sports and gear niche, and the need inspiration option. The need inspiration option is really only for people who aren't really sure what they're planning on doing yet with their Shopify store. Now, for most of you out there, if you're just getting started with this, you're more than likely gonna be starting with one of these simple categories. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up a clothing store. As you can see, we'll go ahead and click the clothing option and then hit the next button, which will take us to the step Two. Once we're on step two, we're going to go ahead and pick a color for our Shopify store. Now this can be just about anything here. We can either go with an orange color, a blue color, a red color, or a green color. For the sake of this video, and just for personal preference, I'm going to go ahead and go with this blue color. This is basically the main design color that will be used in important things on your storefront. Things like the fonts, backgrounds, or even the highlights. Once we have that picked out, we'll then hit the X button, which will take us to step two. Three. Now that we're on step three, we're going to go ahead and select our home page banner. Now for our home page banner, we can select any of these options that they have predisposed for us. As you can see here, we have a banner style 13, which is somewhat of a minimalist kind of style. They also have a banner style 14, which is kind of a really simple style with no text. A banner style 15, where they have something a little bit more trendy. And then of course, banner style 16, which is a little bit more avant-garde. I'm gonna go ahead and select the banner style 15 option and hit the next button. Now this step is really, really important. We're gonna be creating a Shopify account here and linking it to our actual store build AI account. As you can see here, before we continue, we need you to create a Shopify account with an active subscription. Now this part is very important. You need to make sure that you have an active subscription so that way they can actually build your storefront for you using artificial intelligence. If you don't have an active subscription, this whole process won't work. Lucky for you guys though, you can get started with Shopify for your first three months for only $1 a month. This is an amazing deal and it's one of the best ways to actually get started with them in the first place. Now the first thing here is we're going to go ahead and register for Shopify. We're going to go about doing that by going down here and clicking on the green register for Shopify button. Once we click on this button, it will take us to the register on Shopify page where we simply have to enter in our email address and we can start with a free trial. I'll enter in my email address, hit the black star free trial button and it will take me into my Shopify account. I'll then have to create a quick little password here just to make sure that my account is fully ready to go and then hit create Shopify account. 
Now, the first thing that Shopify is going to do is it's going to ask you a series of questions to figure out exactly what kind of storefront you're setting up. Because we're already using StoreBuild.ai to build our storefront, we don't really need to worry about this. And we'll go ahead and hit the I don't want help set up button. Once we hit that button, it will then take us to their pricing page. Now, this part's really important. You need to make sure that you choose the right pricing plan for this specific part. Now, this part's really important. You need to have an active subscription if you want this whole process to actually work. The first thing we're going to do is figure out which of these pricing plans we want to go with. Now, because we have that amazing deal that we talked about, we're going to be able to get started with any of these plans for only $1 for the first three months. This, in my opinion, is probably one of the best parts about this whole deal. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just go with the basic option because really all the features that we're using in this video are pretty much going to be accessible to us through the basic option. I'm going to go ahead and hit the try basic button, enter in my credit card details, and then subscribe for only $1 for my first month. Now, once we've done all of that, we should be inside of the Shopify dashboard. The next big step here is going up to the top and copying this link for your Shopify admin page. Once we copy that link, we'll head back over to storebuild.ai and then hit the next button for Shopify linking. Now, as you can see, they want to make sure that we have our activated Shopify plan as this is how they're going to build our storefront and it's going to make it so we don't lose any progress. We're going to click the I have activated it button, which will take us to step five which is linking our Shopify account. Now, as you can see here, the easiest part here is just pasting that Shopify admin link into this little field. We'll hit the save button and then hit the next button to go on to winning products. Now for this part, we're gonna be using a tool called Zendrop. Zendrop is one of the easiest ways to start uploading winning products on your Shopify store. And also it's completely linked with this process. So you don't have to worry about any outside extensions. Now the next step here is activating Zendrop, which you can either watch through this video here if you want to complete this tutorial, or I'll just show you how to do it inside of this video right now. First step here is going down to activate Zendrop and clicking the activate Zendrop button. Once we click on the activate Zendrop button, it will then take us back into our Shopify admin page and also take us into the install page. As you can see, this is where we can get started with Zendrop and all we have to do is hit the black install button. Once we hit that black install button, it will then take us over to another page where we have to hit the install button one more time. As you can see here, this is what it'll look like and we're basically just giving it permission to actually add the products on our Shopify store in the first place. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the install button which will then install this application directly onto my Shopify store. Just like that, we can then complete our store setup and hit the continue onboarding button. As you can see, we're back on the webpage here and the next big step is going live. We'll go ahead and click that button, which will then take us into the next page. And once again, it's very important here, you need to have an active Shopify subscription plan. Now, in order to make sure that your Shopify account is fully activated, you need to enter in your credit card details, just like I've done on the screen. Once all this is good to go, as you can see, we're only paying $1 for our first month, and we're gonna go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, one of the nice parts about this is that you can cancel at any time, and you don't have to worry about getting charged. As you can see, we have officially been subscribed. Now all we have to do is save our business address and we can move into the next step. And just like that, we'll hit this green go live button, hit the I have approved button. We need to make sure that we also have Zendrop fully approved before we start using it. So make sure to hit that button before you start using it. All we have to do now is hit the save business address button. And now all we have left to do is hit the go live button. Once we hit the go live button, it will then officially start building our Shopify store. Now this can take up to one minute, so make sure you be patient here, but it should get done in a matter of no time. And as you can see, congratulations, we officially have our new Shopify store and it's ready to go. The next step here is accessing Shopify and hitting that publish button. We'll go ahead and access Shopify, which will then take us to our Shopify store. We'll then hit the customize button, which will then take us inside of our Shopify store. And just like that, we're finished. Congratulations on launching your very own brand new e-commerce store. Now that you have your store, it's time to start attracting customers and making sales. You can go ahead and claim your TikTok ads credit too through this same page. This is how you can get basically about $100 in free TikTok ad credits so you can start running ads to your TikTok shop store or just to your e-commerce store in general. But but we officially have it ready to go. We can go over to Zendrop, see what kind of products are being imported to our store, and also take a look at the actual storefront that they've built for us. As you can see, they've already pre-installed the theme for us, and it even has our very own store set up just like that right here. If you guys have any questions about this process, be sure to comment them down below. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to never miss any of our future videos. Please keep in mind too that the links down in the description are affiliate links, and we could monetarily benefit from them. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.